Octavian, here is Ben Whitaker! Say for Ben Whitaker. Size all the lies of the new. I'll try to be in Jesus' style of the army. Should never mention me. Been doing this thing since Greek face is Tim. Since then, the lies on me. Just started off in 96. Heart taken from my ribs. Tell a boy I think rich. Show no love, that's a risk. But other man try to get me, but he missed. See no reason. Selling is a need. We'll stick up, stack up with my feet. Hey, nothing to lose. And I don't sit down, I don't sit down, I don't sit down, I don't move. And if I hold the lights, I get right away. I tell you, this is what we used to do. That's why I make you feel like you're doing nothing to do. That's why they won't be like you. They say, you're going to go just fine. They say, I'm proud, because I'm from North Side. Upset when you looked at me. You said I'd be ashamed when I could have been. Chase paper, chase dream. Look, Mama said, clean. Me and my, we know what it means to survive. Back then, no asking for life. The man that was starving for life said he was a good hearted kid, but there's no asking. The straight eye for a knife, look at your dog blind. The surgeon. Scrubbing and ready to grace this operating theatre once again, eager to wield those scalpel sharp fists, which is exactly what we saw him do in Bournemouth, Matt, slicing open Stephen Dreadeye with that beautiful right hand, left hook, and great to see him back so quickly. Yeah, definitely. That's what his career sort of lacked, his activity, momentum. Good to see him get back out. And, and you know, tonight all going well if he comes through and skate. We'd love to see him get out again because he's a real talent. There's no doubt about that. We just need to see him fight more often. Last time out, brilliant finish. A bit of swagger through the performance, frustrating, angering the opponents. It's all part of his game plan, luring them in. And then but when he wanted to sit down and walk him onto the shots, the finish was excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, this light heavyweight contest is scheduled for eight three-minute rounds as promoted by Ben Shalom and Boxer, brought to you live worldwide on Sky Sports and NBC's Peacock TV, presented by our headline partner, Bet365, and our official partners, Wow Hydrate, Integritas Property Group, Hype Energy UK, Everlast, and IFX Payments. Our referee in charge with the bell rings, Sean McAvoy. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. We're in the white trunks. He weighed in at 12 stone, 8 pounds. He holds a professional record of 10 victories versus 13 defeats and 5 draws, with two of those wins coming by way of knockout. And he fights out of Luxembourg, introducing Khalid Grenia. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. We're in the black trunks with white and red trim. He stands six feet, three inches tall. He weighed in at 12 stone, seven pounds, five ounces. He holds a perfect undefeated professional record of five victories versus no defeats with four of those wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Darleston, West Midlands, England. Introducing the Olympic silver medalist. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the surgeon, Ben Keep it clean at all times, keep yourself protected at all times, keep it respected at all times, touch gloves, here we go. Cali Gradia there with the look of a man who's seen it all before.
but can he cope with the skill set of Ben Whitaker? Whitaker in the black, Gradia in the white. Gradia went eight rounds with Dan Aziz last year. He's been eight with Carol Talma, Ezra Taylor, two other good fighters as well, stopped by Zach Parker in seven. So that's the caliber that he has, the toughness that he has. Whitaker has started with some intent here, though. He's working well behind his jab, using his feet, trying to draw something out. Grady gets onto the inside and winds up for the right hand there. That was good work from him, he stole that space and then looked to get the punch away. I think Whitaker here just trying to open him up, work him out, using the feints, seeing where he's vulnerable. Brady not really opening up just yet. Still very defensive minded. Whitaker doubling up on the jab. He's gone up and down with the jab. Trying to sink the right hand into the body, followed it with a left uppercut. Grady trying to find room for that right hand round the back of the guard whenever possible. It's a nice right hook, really got round the back of the glove there with that shot. We've got to have some audacity to do three uppercuts uh, on, on the spin. It's a high-risk shot, the lead left uppercut. But he's not afraid to throw it. Trying to chop down with the right hand, Gradia. Looking to try and close the distance. Closer is safer for him. He is trying to reply, Gradia. It's just... Ben's head movement and, and getting out the way, and he's doing really well. Good defensive skills there from Whitaker, who plays for the crowd at the end of the round. Well, this is what we always get from Whitaker. And at this point, I should pay tribute to the original Dancing Destroyer. It was with sadness last night that we all learned of the passing of the legendary Carl Weathers, who, of course, played Apollo Creed in the Rocky films and did such an amazing job with that character. The master of disaster, the king of sting, the Count of Monte Fisto. I get misty-eyed Macklin when I think about it. <laughs> yeah, he was... Uh... What a character! What a character! What a, what a what a set of films! I think I think you say uh, Rocky Rocky Three was your favourite, Andy, wasn't it? There is no tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Tremendous stuff. Uh, sympathies from the whole of the UK boxing family to the Weathers family and friends. Whitaker just going about his business here. Nice left hand into the body, and again an extravagant bit of evasion from the surgeon. I actually enjoyed the first round, um, with the way he didn't do it. Um, but it is just a part of who he is, and, and that's how he expresses himself. So, you know, he, he's, he is a lot more comfortable do, being like that. I think as much of it is part of the show, show business and the, the swagger and the brand and all that type of thing, I do... Oh, beautiful, beautiful shot. Body shot there from Whitaker. See the grimace on the face of Grady as he took it and backed up. He got great purchase on that, sunk it in like a red hot poker into that rib cage midway through the round. Can he follow it up? He looked for it again there, but he managed to drop the elbow on it, Grady. And here he goes with.
Whitaker. Sean McAvoy not happy with that. The referee telling him off. I was going to say, as much of it is, you know, part of the, 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 the whole showmanship, I think a part of it is also to antagonise his opponents, try and vex them, try and make them lure them into lunging or making a mistake. And he'd been setting that shot up, just go. tapping with the jab, bearing up the weight of punches he did there. Double tap up to the head with that lead left hand, and then much more weight on the right hand. And that's something you were talking about in our previous fight, Tasha. That variety, you get hit with something you're not really braced for, and that's when it makes the impact. 100%, he's very in that backhand, backhand off, lovely. He's bringing it up, he's bringing it over. But that shot that he caught him with the head shot, he just gets caught there. Um, it came, it just missed his ribs by inches and just came up and at the side and you just can't defend them, it's virtually impossible to defend them, it was great placement of the shot. You know, when you miss somebody, when your opponent in front of you, you can't hit them and you miss one like that, the crowd cheer, you know, it embarrasses you, it demoralises you and then you get hit with a sick, you know, a, a stiff jab on the nose and a body shot and it's slowly breaking your will. You did get clipped there with a the shot. Um, in that little exchange. Oh, oh. Oh. Looks to finish on the left hand, the one, two at the conclusion of the round there. Two rounds in here, Gradient. This is a tough night for him already. The Gradient corner just trying to attract the attention of the referee there. They feel he's been hit round the back of the head here at times. There's that left to the body. Yeah, just lifted him up with the right uppercut and then bent down. I got that left hook right round the, the back of the elbow, it's the floating rib area, horrible place, completely took his wind away. You see the reaction with body shot straight away, he got it, he just took a little step back. There's where he gets sold off. Well, some referees will pick you up for that, some won't. He absolutely wouldn't have gotten away with that in the amateurs. I'll tell you that for nothing. But as a pro, it is all about making people want to watch, making people want to tune in, show business with blood, as Jimmy Cannon described it decades ago. And again, just bearing up the weight of that left hand there, Whitaker. Grady is going to need all his experience here. Yeah, he's got to try and tuck up tight, fire back when he can. You know, try not to get too disheartened when uh, he's struggling to land because Whitaker is very evasive. He's got great upper body movement, great lateral movement. He's got very, you know, his peripheral vision. He's very good reflexes. He's, he's not easy to catch clean. Block that, Gradient. And he'll need that guard. Nice. Uppercut there from Whitaker. But he still came forward there, the Frenchman. He countered them as well with a hook and, and he flipped them. So he has got to be careful. I think he has got to start trying to, you know, Ed, come forward now uh, against Whitaker. He's got to try and push Whitaker back. Just trying to punch off the head movement there, Gradient. Let fly with the left hook. Yeah, he fell short, but it was a better effort. Decent jab there from Gradient. Shaping flat left to the body again there, Whitaker, but switched up to the head. Coming over the top of the jab there, Whitaker, with the right hand, he wasn't far away. He's actually showing his boxing IQ there, but, but, uh, Ben. When he, he dipped, obviously, he caught him with the body shot earlier, and he knew he was going to dip, and he brings it up the middle. Great shot. Another uppercut there from Whitaker, but Grady soaked it up and then came back with the right hand, but he's just been backed up to the ropes and touch there, caught with the combination, Grady, and Whitaker again, just looking outside of the ring. Just over 30 seconds remaining in round three. Back 
Again, you see Brady are missing wildly there. It's, it's almost as disheartening as getting hit with a stiff jab. So Richard react for that and Fraser Clark on the right hand side. Could be some news coming for both of those two before too long. So into the fourth, Whitaker with the right hand counter at the start of the round. A little bit of swelling around the left thigh, just under the left thigh there of Grader, I think has come up from that right hand. I think he just caught him cold with the first shot, he came out with a bit of a lazy jab, then just slipped and countered it. Grady caught him on the back of the head there, but there was nothing the Frenchman could do about that because Whitaker returned his back, the referee just warning him about that, and then you can see that bit of damage around the left eye there of Grady. Yeah, the right hooks are really working well for Whitaker. He's really digging the shot in, getting behind the glove. And again, a solid right hand. Even if you're catching these, parrying them, half blocking them with the glove, you still feel them. The glove cannons into the face. It has an impact. Again, there, Grady trying to fight back and just missing. It's, again, it's it's disheartening. He's protected himself well from that left hand to the body, Grady, since he got put down by it. No, 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 matter, no matter how brutal a fight is, if you feel like you're in the fight, you can keep gripping through. But when you just feel like you you're beaten by someone just far too good for you, can't even land. You can't catch them. It's very demoralising. Well, Whitaker is going to get told off for that. He stood up tall and he just slapped him on the top of the head, really, with the palm. And the trainer there is pretty furious about that. He's been complaining to Sean McAvoy, the referee, in between rounds. He feels that Whitaker has been hitting his man around the back of the head at times. And the pair of them just being called to the centre. Whitaker's antics are maybe just riling Grady up a little bit here. He's setting his feet and looking to let his hands go, but that could suit Ben Whitaker possibly. But again, he's just kind of goading him here, embarrassing him. And... Well, the referee again is saying that he's backhanded in there to a lack of weight. And they make him right. He hit him with the back of the left glove. Take the point. He's telling him you need to make contact with the knuckle part of the glove. You know, this kind of showboying, some people can't stand it, other people love it. It's literally, you know, what you like. Gradia's corner man is still absolutely ranging and halfway up the stairs, and I think he's being approached by someone from the board to tell him to sit down. He is not happy at all. Now you can see the steam rising off him away to our right hand side. Ray is keeping his composure though. He's a very experienced fighter. Right hand lands on the round. He chases Whitaker with the left and puts a right on the end of it. Whitaker just leaning back, avoiding that right hand. Nothing. Nothing. It's gone. Calm your breath. This is the round we take him out in. Okay? In your rhythm. In your rhythm, set it off to take him out this round. You either love it or you hate it, but most people inside Wembley Arena, I'd say, are loving it. 
I think a ringside, they're loving it too. Joby Clayton in the corner telling Whitaker that this is a round that he takes him out. Clayton has been with him all through camp. They've been together forever, those two, on Whitaker's boxing journey. To have the confidence, the timing, and, you know, the ability to do it is impressive. But I think people just find it disrespectful to the opponent. Left into the body again there. It is disrespectful to the opponent. There's no getting away from that. If you do this, you have to be able to back it up. Right hand into the body there from Whitaker. So he needs to be able to close the show here. That's the kind of pressure you put on yourself. But again, it's, he's got such good reflexes, he's a good counter puncher, and that kind of, you know, really goading your opponent. It's part of his tactics, it's part of his game plan, trying to lure him into making a mistake that he can then make him pay for. Right, you'd, you'd be hard not to react emotionally to, to someone doing that in front of you. You know, once you get annoyed and angry and you load up, you, 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 your own game plan's gone out the window then. I think Drage has done a good job of not going down that road, though. He's an experienced guy. He did set his feet and start to swing towards the end of that third round. But other than that, he's kept his cool admirably at times, right hand there from Whitaker to the head, then down to the body. He, he has had his own successes, just obviously not enough. That was a great body shot from Whitaker, and he felt that his hand was dropped immediately. The gradient and a little bit of trouble here, backs up to the corner, sinks down onto the bottom rope, right. in comes the towel. And just as he was ordered to by the corner, Ben Whitaker provides the finish in this fifth round. As said that when you talk the talk, and you behave like he does, you have to walk the walk. And everybody at ringside appreciates somebody who has that in their locker. And Ben Whitaker absolutely does. Well, I, remember, I remember Noel Gallagher being a massive Prince Nassim Hamed fan. And if you're a Prince Nassim Hamed fan, you're going to probably be a Ben Whitaker fan. Stars always appreciate star quality and that's what we've always felt that Whitaker has got it's still early it's great to see him box twice in eight weeks people will want him to make quick progress everybody wants that for top international amateurs but you have to have the fights you do and you have to do it right because it, 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 there is a difference between the amateur and the pro game and, and there's, there's such an emphasis now I don't know where it's come from that everyone has to do it fast and has to do it quick but you let you're learning something new and you do need to take your time and, and, and develop. He was just beginning to wilt here, Gradia. He's still tucking up fairly effectively, but he takes his seat on that bottom rope and his trainer at that point decided that given we're in the fifth round, his man was still such a long way from the tape. He knew what was coming and saved him for another day. Imagine being able to say, go and finish it in this round, and you can just do that. Well, you could see as well, he was punching with bad intentions there, he was planting his feet. He wasn't looking for point scoring there, he was looking for power, he was looking to really take him out. Would have been proud. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Sean McAvoy calls a stop to this contest at one minute 57 seconds of round number five. Declaring your winner by TKO and still undefeated, Ben the Surgeon. Ben, congratulations. It was, in the end, a surgical 
type performance. When you walk the walk, you have to back it up. How do you think you boxed in there tonight? It was, uh, it was pretty special. Firstly, thank you very much to my opponent. He brought a great fight. And secondly, London, was you entertained? Well, that's what I like to hear. Yeah, I mean, it's always going to divide opinion. I think everybody in here loved it, even if uh, the referee didn't quite love it at times. You know what it is? I can dance, I can shimmy, but I've broken down in a jiffy. You're very clear in uh, the build-up to this that Khalil Gradio had been in with a, a number of British opponents and he'd taken Dan Aziz, a Carol Tuma, a Edra Taylor, a Zach Parker had got him out of there in seven. Must be nice to get him out of there in, in double quick time, quicker than anybody else. At the weigh-in, what did I say? He hasn't been in there with Ben Whitaker, And I showed it there, I was just going through the motions, having fun. I looked up my dad, he was a bit annoyed sometimes, so I said, all right, dad, let me show you what I can do. And we got the job done. Well, he's got half a smile on his face over your shoulder at the moment. I'll, I'll put that down as half a smile, Tony. Quick one with Ben Shalom, must be delighted. I mean, he's always going to turn heads and he's always going to divide, but he's always going to divide and conquer as well. He's a born entertainer. He's a generational talent, a generational talent. We've had people talk about Khalid Gradia. We've had him in there with Dan Aziz. We've seen him in there with Zach Parker and Atama. No one's done it like that. That was surgical, as you said, it was a uh, mastery, mastery. And uh, there's no one more with more potential in the UK than Ben Whitaker. It's a simple fact like that. And uh, very proud of him, very active and a great year ahead. Well, if you're sick of him at home, he's just about to come back and commentate on the main event as well. So good luck. I just want to thank London, Sky Sports, Ben Shalom, Joby Clayton, Jamie Whitaker, Tony Wilson, 258 Management. Thank you so much. And last but not least, my Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, thank you very much. Well done, Ben.